guys, today we're going to be trying out the She Glam and Care Bears collection. Um, so, yeah, that's it, basically. <laughs> um, I bought mine off Sheen. I'm just going to search up and see how much it is. Oh my god, I haven't been on Sheen in so long and I'm a bit worried because I'm really trying not to, like, buy anything at the moment. So the full collection looks like it retails for $81.95 Australian. It says that it's normally $104.95 but it's on sale at the moment. So yeah I think that's around what I paid for it. I could imagine that it'd be something like that. So it comes with an eyeshadow palette, three blushes, three I think they're um, lip, lip glosses, three liners, a mirror and a highlight. So that's exciting. So we have the eyeshadow palette here. It's super cute. I won't lie, the colour scheme. I feel like she glammed and not know how to do an eyeshadow palette colour story. <laughs> like I feel like they're all really good Care Bear colours, but it's hard because I feel like it's gonna be hard to create a cohesive a cohesive eye look. But anyway, that's the eyeshadow palette. Then we have our three little blushes. Mind you, how adorable is this collection? Like so cute. Um, we also have three liners, our little lip balms are in here, and then the highlight. Let's just get started. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. I'm obviously going to start with the eyeshadow palette, and yeah, I really don't know what eye look I'm going to do today, but I'm obviously just going to start by priming my eyes, so we'll do that. Get that out of the way. I was meant to film all week, and I didn't film once. <laughs> I had a kind of busy week, so I don't like Mondays, so I had Monday off and I filmed on Monday, Tuesday was my first day back at work for the week, and I, if I have a couple of days off work, I get really bad headaches when I go back to work, because I do a lot of computer work, obviously I stare at computers the whole day, and my eyes just cannot hack it, so Tuesday night when I went home I just had a really bad headache and just wanted to go to sleep. And then Wednesday, I still had the headache. So when I got home, I was just like, no. Nah. Um, Thursday, I can't remember. Friday, I can't remember. <laughs> so yeah, I've just been slack, okay? But we're here today and we're filming, so. So we have a purple liner, a green liner, and a white liner. So I feel like we're gonna have to do something that's gonna suit one of those colors. I'm thinking of kind of taking, I feel like I'm gonna take the pinks in the um, palette today because I feel like they'll kind of be the easiest to work with. There's these really cool, like, I don't even know what you call them, shades down here though. And then this one up here, Love All Grump, looks so cute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start by taking the shade called Full of Cheer and it's just kind of like a transition-y shade. And I'm just gonna put that like, all over. Mind you, how cute are the little pans? They've got the little Care Bear faces in them. It's so cute! Um, but see, I'm just putting that down to kind of, you know, it's raining so much outside and all I want to do is just go crawl into bed. Like, I love when it rains. It's one of my favourite things ever. I mean, as long as I'm home. I hate when it rains and I'm like at work because it's just like should be illegal to work while it's raining because I just think everyone needs to be at home being cozy, watching a movie, having a hot chocolate, like with a candle on. Oh, I love the rain. Mm. I feel like, I know this is going to sound kind of like cliche or whatever, but I'm a Gemini so I feel like I have two sides to me and I know if you're at home and you're not really into like astrology, you're sitting there thinking like, shut up. But I'm telling you like, the Gemini is like the twins, like two different sides, I think. I hope. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. And I feel like I just really have different sides. Like part of me loves the summer. But then the other part just, oh, I love the rain and winter. All right. Um, I'm going to take Belly Badge, which is like a pinky shade. Mind you, pinks on me just do not suit, but that's fine. Um, and I'm going to put that like just a little bit, you know. You know the drill. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really a pink girly though, I know that much. They just never really seem to suit me all that much. Also guys, my skin is so bad at the moment. I have like so many little pimples and stuff and the worst thing is I pick them. I do. And you're like, obviously I'm not meant to. But I can't stop. I cannot stop and 
I feel like it makes them so much worse. I squeezed this so bad the other day and I don't even think it was anything. Like, I don't know what happened. I thought I had a blackhead there, so I was squeezing it and squeezing it and squeezing it. And then, like, I squeezed it for, like, a couple of days. And then I was like, oh, mom, can you please squeeze this? And she started. And then she's like, oh, I don't even think there's, like, a blackhead there. And I was like, oh, my God. So I'm a, um, a pimple squeezer. Even though I know you're not meant to. I feel like these shadows are really quite sheer. Like, obviously, they're still some pigment there like you can still see it but they're very subtle okay the next shade is called make me smile and it's a little bit like deeper but also looks kind of like similar it also looks a little bit pinchy so i'm going to i'm honestly just going to put that all over as well because it's not really that deep yeah i can kind of already tell that this eyeshadow palette is not for me the there's just not enough um depth in it and it's kind of hard it's gonna be very hard to get this to be like a cohesive look so and yeah I feel like it's like the color stories I can tell that they're obviously like doing the color stories to match the theme but then it's also not really creating a cohesive eye look I don't know if I should take the purple I'm gonna actually the purple is called sweetness I'm gonna put that in the outer corner Need a different brush. I'd actually like to look into Shea Glam and see if they have some other eyeshadow palettes. Um, because, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the two that I've tried, like this will be the second one, I just don't love. And, like, I feel like, yeah, they're more sheer, but that's not really the problem that I have. Like, it's fine that they're kind of a little bit more subtle. Like, it's more the colour story because hard to create a cohesive look you know what I mean Nikki Tutorials did a um, paid sponsorship with She Glam and a lot of the this was like a couple of years ago now a lot of the comments were very negative because people were like girl like you think you're lying <laughs> um, because they think that like she had all of the eyeshadows on or something and then like it cut to like the next bit and like people think that she changed the eyeshadow it was something like that. I can't really remember now. I watched the video a little while ago. I definitely do think She Glam is a good brand. I really like their complexion products. Um, and I think they're really affordable. But the thing is, obviously, they aren't as pigmented as, like, my P. Louise. Um, or my Glam Light or whatever. Or things like that. Um, and I feel like that's okay to say. But... I'm not okay to lie about. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to cut the crease. And then we're going to add a shimmer. Which I'm a bit worried about adding a shimmer. Because, actually, maybe I shouldn't cut the crease. I'm just worried, like, that the cut crease will be too much for this. If that makes sense. I'm actually not going to cut the crease. So I take that back. So we have a couple of shimmers in here. Ooh. These are the two, like, little pearly ones down the bottom. We have Peace, Love and Hugs. Which is, like, the pinky one. And then we have this one, which is called Shine On. Beautiful. Um, Lovable Grump is that one there on this finger. Cute. Those are really nice. I don't even know. I kind of want to take that one, the Shine On one. I think that's what I'm going to take. And I'm kind of just going to put that all over the lid, I guess. So I'm going to just put that on. I feel like if I went and did a cut crease now, because they're so, like, the um, shades are subtle, it just wouldn't match. This is a really pretty shimmer. Super cute. I love it. It's still on the subtle side, but... And I mean, you know, if you are wearing this or, like, using this palette for every day, it might be okay because this is... Like, because they're more subtle shades, you know, you could do your makeup for work or... I mean, maybe not with these shades, but... You know what I mean? Like, I feel like for maybe the everyday consumer, this palette's more suitable, but for someone like me, or someone like, um, I don't know, for people that like doing more intense eye looks, I guess. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now, but, yeah, like, if you're going to use this palette for, like, everyday eye looks, I feel like it could work. But in saying that, it's still not super cohesive. And what I mean by that is it's hard to create a complete look because 
there's not a lot of like transition shades there's not a lot of crease shades and there's not a lot of like outer corner shades but that's my opinion okay so this is how it's looking so you can see it's like very subtle so we're gonna add a little liner i'm gonna swatch all of the shades for you okay so the one that we're probably going to take today is the purple one and this one is called sweetest sugar and also how cute are the little packaging so cute and then this is how the actual liner looks so cute it's fluffy obviously to be like okay there so this one here is the purple one and it's called sweetest sugar then we're taking true heart which is a white and honestly it looks pretty nice um Obviously, I haven't put it on the eye, so I don't know. But that's the white there. And then I have Lucky Day, which is like this green shade. These are so cute. I love these. There's the liners. All right, let's try this out. Obviously, we're just going to do a wing. I feel like they're a little bit hard to work with. Um, it's kind of moving with the eyelid. If you know what I mean, like my, like it's not super glidey, but the pigment is really nice. So that's how they look. I feel like <laughs> they're a little bit hard to use, but the pigment's nice. So anyway, I'm going to go clean this up. I'm going to add lashes and everything. And then we're going to try out the rest of the collection. Okay. So I have finished like my base makeup now. Like I've done my bronzer and everything. So we're just going to try out the highlighter and the blush. Um, so these are the three highlighters here. Now they're so, so cute. They each have a little um, Care Bear little face on them, which is so sweet. And they're fluffy. The only problem is um, they when like I got them in the packaging, they had like a little um, piece of cardboard that told me what shade they were. But once you don't have that anymore, you don't know what shade they are anymore. So I've had a look online. The first one that we have is called Tickled Pink, which is this one here. And this is like a more deep pink kind of brownie kind of shade. It's really pretty. I don't know if I should keep it or not because I feel like it's a little bit deep for me, but I kind of love it as well at the same time. I don't know. So that's the first one. Then we have Thrill Seeker. And this one is more like peachy, orangey. It's really pretty. And then the last one that we have is called Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, which is this one here. And that's probably the one that I'm going to take today because I feel like it's just going to fit the vibe with the eyes. So let's do that. So I'm just going to take a little bit to start and then build up a little bit. It's quite, I actually kind of like it. It's quite nice and subtle, um, but like buildable, which is good. Um, I just don't, I don't like a blush that's like straight off the bat super pigmented because I get carried away. <laughs> but I actually don't mind this. I didn't think I'd love the colour that much, but I actually kind of like it. It's quite cute and nice. Blends out nicely. And yeah, I feel like it's a nice um, amount of pigment and it's really buildable. So I honestly do really like She Glam's um, complexion products, at least the ones that I've tried. I feel like it's more just the eye products, like the eyeshadow. Like it's still pigmented, it's still fine. It's just, I'm gonna get into my thoughts in the end anyway, so. <laughs> So we have this and it's the Catch Some Fun Highlighting Puff. I don't really know how you use it. It says, shimmer and shine with this highly concentrated highlighter glitter puff ball featuring a gorgeous reflective sheer glitter that can be used on your body or face for a sparkle that matches everyday fun. But like it kind of doesn't say how you actually use it, so... I don't really like highlighting like puffs like I don't I just want like a normal highlighter but anyway let's get it out of the packaging and actually have a look at it that's the box there <laughs> it is cute but it's just so this is what it looks like I just don't get how you're meant to like do you just stamp it all over your face it's like I don't know I like my highlight to be concentrated so I don't really know what I'm kind of doing but Okay, 
So there's like some glitter that's like coming out, but it's just not, <laughs> it's not for me. It's not really like a highlight either. It's just kind of like little bits of glitter. Try it like on here, on the cheekbone. I mean the collarbone, which I don't even really have anymore because I'm fat. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's not for me, to be honest. So, like, it's definitely putting little bits of, like, glitter all over me, but... Yeah, it's not for me. Sorry. That's a, that's a flap. Okay. Great. Um, because I can't live without highlight, I am just going to put some of my own highlight on. <sighs> just because I need to. I'm a like 2016 YouTuber, so I need a highlight. Gonna set my face really quick with the Emco. So this is what the little lip things come in. How cute is that? Um, and I think there's three in here, so we'll do some swatches. So yeah, when you open it up, they're just in there. So we have three shades. We have Perfect Harmony, Get Your Shine On, and Love A Lot, which is super cute. And it looks like we have like two kind of, not matte, but like two just normal glosses and then like a shimmery gloss as well. First is this one here. And this is called Perfect Harmony. Okay, I don't know if they are glosses. They feel more like mousses. They don't, they also do not have a smell. I feel like this one's a gloss. This one's called Get Your Shine On. This one's super cute. I like this one. This one feels more glossy texture. And then the last one is Love A Lot. And it honestly looks kind of similar to the first one. Yeah, they're quite similar. The first one just has a tinge more like red in it, but they're like honestly almost identical. See them there? Like, I feel like you really cannot tell that much of a difference at all. So I think today I'm just going to have to take the yellow one because I don't think any of those are really going to suit with what i got going on. It tastes very odd. It tastes like something like Vaseline or something. I'm going to go, I'm going to do my hair, and then I'm going to be back and we're going to talk. Final thoughts. Okay, so this is the finished look. I have to say I turned out better than what I thought. Um, I didn't think that I'd like it, but I feel like I mainly like my skin, so. All right, let's get into my thoughts. The packaging, we'll start with the eyeshadow palette. The packaging is so, so, super cute. <laughs> um, I do love it, I think it's really nice. I don't love the color story. It's just not for me. I don't find it cohesive. I don't find it. Um, like versatile or like I don't know I just I don't like the color story unfortunately um, the shimmers are really nice the mattes are okay like you can see that you can obviously see them they're just not super pigmented um, and I think there's just not enough depth in the certain shades there's not enough transition say transition sh shades <laughs> crease shades blending shades you know so it's not for me I do not I'm gonna say that I'm not gonna say that I don't like the palette, but I'm not. I'm most likely not gonna reach for it again, and I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, the eyeliner was cute. I it's really pigmented, which is great. Um, I don't know. I obviously don't know how pigmented the other shades are, but the swatches on my hand looked like they were pigmented. So, um, I just think it's hard to work with. I don't find the tip super fine and easy to get that really um, precise liner. And I also feel like it's not, it like kind of just flaps around with the eye. It doesn't, um, it's not super smooth or glidey. So the eyeliner is a, it's not one that I would repurchase, like I said, but I'm, I'll still use them. Like I still think the colors are cute and stuff, but yeah, not something that I would repurchase. I really liked the blush. I thought it was really pretty. Uh, when I'm excited to try out the other shades of the blush. Um, and I love the packaging. The only downside is that, yeah, you don't know the shade. Obviously, a quick internet search can help. And if you're anything like me, when you've had your products for a while, you kind of know them like the back of your hand. Um, but that's really the only downside of that. Um, 
highlight was not for me obviously I added my own highlight but yeah I just it's not for me I don't know what I'm gonna do with that um, and the lips are uh, the packaging's really cute this shades nice the one that I'm wearing but I just don't really love the other shades and I probably just love these. oh okay apparently they're liquid lipsticks apparently these two are liquid lipsticks and this one's a lip gloss I didn't realize yeah I don't know they're just not really my cup of tea I don't think all in all I don't love this collection it's not my favorite at all um I obviously had I feel like more misses than I had hits and I probably wouldn't recommend this um actually sorry I take that back I wouldn't recommend this if you're similar to me if you're someone that likes makeup as like a kind of artistry thing and doing like you know more full-on looks I think this would be great for someone first getting into makeup maybe like a teenager someone that still enjoys things like Care Bears I mean I still enjoy Care Bears but you know what I mean like someone maybe a little bit younger because I feel like it's good because there's a lot of subtle products you know the eyeshadows are a bit more subtle so they're easier to blend and work with and things like that um obviously the blushes are buildable and the highlight is quite subtle as well so i feel like it'd be good for someone who either likes you know more subtle makeup or someone that's a little bit younger first getting into makeup or practicing with makeup or whatever um i would pr probably be upset if this was um more expensive but considering it was so cheap and i'm filming like the video on this I, i'm not really that mad but like if i had bought this to use on my own or if it was, you know, the price of a normal makeup collection, I'd be quite disappointed. But obviously that's not the case, so. Anyway, um, I still love She Glam. I think they do complexion products really well. I just feel like they have missed the mark with the eyeshadow palettes the last couple of ones that I've used. But anyway, um, I've got the Harry Potter ones still to try out. So I'm excited to see how those go. Because they look like really pretty shades, so. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have this collection and what you thought. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.